Hello Sec 1s, I am Yuvita, the president of the Environmental Science Club. In this video, my excuse and I will be introducing to you our CCA, and hopefully this might convince you to join us. Here are some of the information that my excuse will be sharing with you in a while. However, I will first be going over the basic information of our CCA, and also a little fun fact about us. As you can see, this is our CCA before the pandemic hit. The Environmental Science Club aims to promote scientific culture and the importance of preserving Singapore's environment and biodiversity through a variety of activities, such as creating posters to be put up around the school and other means which my ex will share shortly. Here are our teachers in charge, Miss Ho, Mr. Na and Miss Molly. And here are their emails if you have any clarifications to be made after this video. Now, on to the X course. As I have mentioned, I am Yovita from 4E1, the president of this CCA. Here are my other X course, who I will let introduce themselves in their portion of the video. Our CCA is held every Friday at Chem Lab 1 from 3.45pm to 6pm. And if there are any upcoming competitions, we have extra sessions held as well, usually on Wednesdays with the same timing. Now, I will be showing you some of the online platforms that ESC has, so that you can find out a little more about our CCA. Firstly, we have our very own Instagram account, where we post CCA activities, intriguing science videos, and much more. Do take a look at our account if you are interested. Next up, we have our group chat, which the excos use to disseminate important information regarding CCA sessions or competitions to the members. Lastly, we have our very own online magazine called the JWSS Science Times. Articles published here are written by our very own members. We write about a myriad of topics, including climate change, CCA activities, and even interviews of our science teachers. Do scan this QR code to take a look at it. Now, for a quick fun fact. Our CCA used to be called Science Club. However, it was changed to Environmental Science Club to not only match MOE's list of CCAs, but also to reflect our members' care and concern towards protecting our environment. Now, I will be passing the time over to Giselle, who will be sharing about the various activities we have in our CCA. Hi everyone, I'm Giselle from 4A4 and one of the Vice Presidents for Environmental Science Club. As EXCOs, we have tried to actively involve the members in bonding games so as to build an increasingly warm and welcoming environment for our gatherings where we can bond over all things science, environmental, and others. Here is what you can expect. An example, tower building. During our CCA camp in March, we built the tallest towers we could in small groups reusing our school's excess of past exam papers. We should always aim to reuse our items whenever possible. Moving on, ESC has also engaged in various upcycling efforts. For instance, as a CCA, we were brought to the DNT facilities by Mr. Nar and taught how to upcycle old Tetra packs into new wallets. As for the June holidays, we played many, many games to boost our members' morales via bonding during such unprecedented times in hopes of giving them some laughter. To stay connected during the June holidays, we all played Among Us together as a fun way of bonding with one another safely. It was definitely a blast. During the holidays, we also embarked on a journey in a new direction, Scribble.io, where those more and less artistically inclined drew and then guessed together. Following SMM, we played many short Kahoot games with unpredictable questions centered around ESC members, science, and the environment. A few other highlights include activities, 
ranging from mini games, paper aeroplanes, 16 personalities, and more. As of 2021, ESC established three new groups. They are ranging from the ESC IT group, ESC upcycling group, and last but not least, the ESC gardening group. We hope to provide more leadership opportunities for those in lower secondary and further develop the members of these groups to equip them with more leadership competencies at a younger age. Alas, now I will be passing the time off to Jackson. Hi, I'm Jackson from 4N1, the event director of the Environmental Science Club. There are many opportunities to attend multiple programs and workshops that allow members to better understand science and the environment. A competition that we've participated in is the Singapore Science Buskers Festival, which gives members the opportunity to further enhance their communication abilities and presentation skills through the showcase of scientific concepts in unique and innovative ways. We participate in this event every year which allows us a chance to experience science basking. A workshop that we've also participated in is the Molecular Gastronomy Workshop at Science Centre. We have learned a variety of techniques for creating food that mixes food and art. We have also partnered with Gardens by the Bay to bring the Ambassador Programme to life. In this programme, we are able to guide tourists and to assist with program facilities pre-COVID. We get to practice our social skills while interacting with tourists and also embark on an adventure around Gardens by the Bay. As you can see, there are numerous opportunities available to members. Now, I'll be passing the time to Alicia. Hello, I'm Alicia from 43 the other Vice President of the Environmental Science Club. Over the years, we have gotten a few awards as a result of our hard work. Some of them are the Young Sustainability Champion Badge, the Singapore Science Buskers Badge, and the Gardens by the Bay Ambassadors Badge, which are obtained through a certain number of hours volunteering at Gardens by the Bay. Here are some of the other achievements that we've made over the years. If you'd like to find out more about our CCA, feel free to visit the school website. That's all. Thank you for your time and we hope to see you all in the Environmental Science Club.